Okay, as ever, we want an eraser and a pen and a pencil. Uh, I'm going to show you how to draw a tulip first. Very, very simple. I'll draw that up here. Um, you want a, a circle and then kind of, uh, kind of a line like that. Um, and then from the base here, a curve that will join that. Then you can just smooth that bit out, a little bit of a curve there, so a curve there and there, and that's basically a tulip, and that's how we're going to draw them ok, so you will then draw something like that and, and that will be your tulip um, so we're going to draw a whole vase full of tulips um, so you'll draw your vase first, so we'll just draw a kind of a circular vase like that, vase, vase, whatever you want to call it. A vase. Uh, I call it a vase. Some people call it a vase, whatever. So, uh, and you want a little hole at the top for everything to come out. Now, the the, 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 the tulip stalks come out like that. And they, they kind of, I love them when they flop over tulips. Uh, kind of like that, and like that, and like that and stick a circle on the end of each one uh, and I think I think you're going to want a couple kind of sticking forward as well like that um, right and then we do that so that they're all kind of pointing outwards like like it look like a clock kind of face so, so, so mm, what do we call that not extra petal extra centrifugal or something like that so they're all facing out like that um, and draw those kind of curves in from the top uh, like that and then you're going to want some uh, uh, leaves as well you're going to want some which will come over the top like that um, and another one, oh you can have that hiding under there like that and then you just want them kind of filling in the background, you can have a couple in in the front and that will probably do it uh, the vase have a nice spotty vase so if you draw kind of semicircles on the edges like that then you can fill in the middle with spots and, and I hope this is going to work let's see what happens if we draw all the tulips first then we got that bit there that bit there. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna. That's where you start going into kind of a Zen Buddhist kind of. Hmm, what do you call it? Meditation kind of mode here. And is that fitting in? Yes, it is. Good. I have to check everything still fits in on the camera. Because um, I'm looking at the paper, not looking at the camera. Although when I draw on the computer, then I have a tablet, and so I'm looking at what I'm drawing on the screen while I'm doing everything on my hand. My hand actions are far away from the screen, so I suppose I could could learn to draw completely on the screen rather than on the paper, but I think it's better I do it on the paper. Okay, there are the uh, the tulips. Um, and then put the the stems in, maybe not all the way to the bottom. I think I think you might want to put a couple of the leaves in first. So make this little kind of bird shape there and then a line down the middle. Um, and that would be another leaf there. Um, that'd be another leaf sticking down there. So then you can put these stems in like that. Uh, you always have to think what's in front of everything else. Is it, it, you think you keep thinking, is that in front of this? Is this in front of that? Um, and I think with years of experience, you kind of know which one goes where. Um, let's do that, and then that can the stems can come in there. Uh, I'm in a hurry. I've got I've got to fit this all in. I've already done for for nearly five minutes. Um, and I've got to fit this all in somehow in the time so uh, I think that looks about it right 
with your vase, 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 and the nice jolly spots like that. And I am just going to scribble. You can be a bit more careful with that than I am because I'm in a hurry. Okay, now that should be dry so I can erase it like that and then I'm going to colour it all in for you so you can see what it should look like okay here are my paints that I've had uh, for years and years and years I've, I've illustrated about 200 books with <laughs> these paints um, and I'm going to draw nice yellow tulips for mum and to fit this all in, I'm going to start speeding up the. Uh, I'm going to start speeding up the uh, the painting. Okay, there you are. A lovely bunch of flowers you can paint on a card for your mum or your mam or your mom and I hope she really really appreciates it and she'll give you a big hug and say how clever you are. I'm sure mine will. Keep coming back to shoerainer.com or the Shoerainer Drawing Channel on YouTube for more and more how to draw lessons. Take care.